All right, hey guys, Ryan Barker here with Abbey Realty, the home run team at Abbey Realty, and I'm here with Chris Murphy from A Action Home Inspections. And uh, today we're getting an, getting an inspection done on a property here in spring. And Chris, I wanted to ask you, because this is something you do all day, every day. Why is it important for consumers to get an inspection on a house? You know, uh, Ryan, that's, that's a great question. And I was thinking about this on the drive up because you kind of prepared me for this question a little bit. And I okay. wanted to reverse this question back on you okay. a little bit and answer your question with a question. Okay. And how, whenever y'all pick this property, mm -hmm. How long were you in the property before you decided to buy it? Well, I mean, this is not a house I'm purchasing. This is one of my clients, but we were in the house. We viewed the house for about 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. So y'all walked in, you're like, oh, this fits all my needs. Mm -hmm. This is my couch will go here, the TV will go here. And then you're just like turned around and you're like, all right, let's lock up, move on. Let's start doing the paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the day that we saw this house, this was the only one that we saw. Yeah, so, so man, yeah, that's a good day. Yeah, right, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, so so the re the real important question is you can see the reason why, you know, you're only here 20 minutes. An average inspection with our company, we're here for three hours, Yeah. no matter the age of the property. So this was 2017, right. we got here around eight, we'll take two, and a, two to two and a half hours to inspect the property, yeah. and then we'll write the report for 30 minutes on site. So we look at your HVAC, your water heater, the foundation, the roof, the plumbing, so we knock out everything, you know, break it down item by item. And in this room, this one's really clean. I mean, it looks like it's almost been reinspected, so it's a really good day for us. But we still found roof issues yeah. uh, that y'all can easily negotiate on. And then y'all can turn around it, and we have found a water leak at the water heater, okay. you know, an easy thing to negotiate on. Yeah. So, like, you, you don't want your buyer to come in and have to deal with these issues. Sure. And so, we easily with like a, I don't know how much this one was, I think it was around $400 inspection, you can easily get $1,500 of roof repairs. Yeah. And, and if not, maybe reduce off the price. I know that's your, that's your that's job. Sure, the negotiations, that's, yeah, the negotiations yeah. that's your job. So right you can on. really see uh, the value that comes out of a home inspection. Very cool. Well, let me ask you, I know that at the end of the inspection, you guys prep a report, an right. inspection report for the consumer. What should we expect from that report? You know, okay. so. Um, the Texas actually has a state mandated form uh, that okay. we follow and this state mandated form uh, require it's only about like five pages long, you okay. know, but there's legal stuff in there and it's automatically five pages long without any data, <laughs> our data, in sure. it, right? So uh, a report from, I would say an experienced home inspection company, we document the good and the bad things. Okay. So that's the reason why you'll get these reports sometimes and they're like 40 pages yeah, long, sure. right? And so even this report, I say it could reach up to 22 pages and yeah. we only have two problems that need to be addressed. So right. whenever you're gonna get this, you wanna make sure that you will take the time, read through it. I like our company, what we like to do is keep short comments to the point because yeah. We don't like to write like engineers, you sure. know, where it's like a really huge long report. So short and easy comments and and pictures easily. So you get a comment and then you get a picture. Yeah. So that's what I like out of our home inspection reports. So if a consumer sees a report that's 40 or 50 pages, is that a house that they should run away from? <laughs> no, that's okay. like, that's like, that's literally like every day for us. Like, okay. You know, like long-ish right. reports. And whenever you see a long report, you know, one page could actually just be pictures. So like our panel box today, yeah. it is almost one whole page long. Okay. We say the panel box is performing properly, no repairs needed, and there's like six photos in there. So we want okay. them to let them know that we looked at the panel yeah. box and yeah, you know, we knocked it out from there. So I wouldn't get over detailed. So that's the reason why I like the inspectors be there at the end of the inspection. Yeah. So the inspector can review it. Yeah. So you, we remove all this I guess like the questions, the questions yeah, and yeah. the emotions the doubt. and the doubt. They're yeah. like, oh my gosh, my house is bad. We're like, well, actually, no, there's just three things or four things that sure. you really need to focus on. Sure. All properties in 1970 have coffee issues. <laughs> yeah, right. Rusted stuff, sure. you know, so sure. that's the, uh, so I hope I answered that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So um, thank you so much for, for hanging out with me today, Chris. If you guys need uh, the service of a great inspector or a great real estate agent, I'll drop off information in the comments below. Uh, we'd both love to serve you. Thanks right. so much for being with us. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.